with Wales having secured the Grand Slam in Cardiff, there was a slight sense of anti-climax before the game at Twickenham as England faced Scotland for the Calcutta Cup, their hopes of winning the championship dashed. Scotland were looking for a first Guinness Six Nations win at Twickenham since 1983. To put that into perspective, none of the playing squad were alive the last time that win was achieved. But if England were disappointed by the result in Cardiff, it didn't show on the pitch as they started like a train. With just a minute gone, they were over for the opening score of the match. Henry Slade passed to Jack Knoll, who was back in the starting 15, and the Exeter winger sprinted inside the defenders and over the line to make it 5-0. It was a dream opening for Eddie Jones' men, and for Knoll in particular. Owen Farrell converted, and it was an early 7-0 lead. It didn't take long for England to double that advantage when a typically strong driving maul paid dividends. Tom Curry scored a try earlier in the campaign away to Wales, but this five-pointer was his first at Twickenham. The strength of the English pack helping to force the sail flanker over the line. And once again, Farrell converted. It wasn't long before England were over for try number three after a quite blistering start from the home side. Kyle Sinclair revved his engines and drove at the Scottish defence. The Harlequins prop showing good speed, and when the ball was whipped out to Joe Launchbury, the big Wasp second row raced over the line. We were only 13 minutes into the game, and already England were just one short of a bonus point try. It was a fourth try for his country for Launchbury, but Sinclair can take plenty of credit for his work in the build-up to the score. Approaching half an hour, that fourth try bonus arrived. Ben Youngs with the quick tap before sending Slade away, and his pass to Johnny May was delightful. This was May's sixth try of this season's Guinness Six Nations Championship, making him top try scorer. The offload from Slade was a piece of magic. May's touchdown was one for the photographers, and England were coasting to victory with the bonus point in the bag. An excellent try, and when Farrell converted, it was 31-0. Farrell, the top point scorer in this season's championship with 59 points overall. It looked like damage limitation for Scotland. They managed to put a score on the board on 33 minutes when captain Stuart McAnally charged down Farrell's kick and managed to hold off May for a score that gave the visitors a glimmer of hope, albeit it looked like a faint one. When Finn Russell converted, it left it 31 points to 7. That's how it stayed until the half-time break. The second half could hardly have been more dramatic. In the 48th minute, the Scots scored a lovely second try, with Russell, Johnson and Price all involved before Darcy Graham cut inside and danced over the line for the score. A second try for Graham in as many matches. He had plenty to do when he received the ball. It slipped past the defenders and it was back to 31 points to 12. Shortly after that score, Scotland got over for a third try. Again, Price did really well with the chip ahead and he gathered it himself before offloading to Magnus Bradbury who drove for the line. The comeback was suddenly a reality. Bradbury's try was converted by Russell and it was 31-19. In the 56th minute Scotland remarkably got back to within a converted try. Russell found Maitland and he passed to Graham who sprinted away for his second and Scotland's fourth try. Another score to excite the Scots in the crowd. A great pass from Russell, and Maitland did well to pick out Graham. Good pace from the Edinburgh winger, and when it was converted, it was 31-24. Amazingly, Scotland drew level just short of the hour. Farrell with a casual pass that was picked off by Finn Russell, and he raced clear and over the line for a sensational score. England with nobody to blame but themselves for a collapse of epic proportions. Russell did well to anticipate the pass and his juggling skills helped too. He converted his own try and it was 31 points apiece. This was fairy tale stuff for Gregor Townsend's men. Inside the last five minutes, incredibly, they took the lead with a brilliant try from Sam Johnson. After the Scots had turned the ball over, Johnson found space and somehow got away to charge towards the English line. He was under pressure but managed to get the ball down under the posts and a first win in 36 years looked on the cards in the most unlikely fashion. This was drama of the highest order. 
and Scotland were in dreamland. When the try was converted, the Scots led 38 points to 31 with very little time remaining. However, with the final play of the game, England broke Scottish hearts after a period of sustained pressure with the visitors defending with everything they had. Substitute George Ford found space down the centre and crossed the line under the post to save his side's blushes. He converted his own score with a simple tap over to leave it 38 points all at the end of an enthralling game. It was a wonderful way to end the 2019 Guinness Six Nations. Lots of tries, a comeback that looked impossible from Scotland and a show of character from England to save the draw right at the end. It had it all. A repeat of the draw between these two sides at this venue in 1989. That was 12 all. This one was much more dramatic. Final score at Twickenham, England 38, Scotland 38.